Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Britt, this is Coffee and Makeup, and today I'm telling you guys why you should stop shopping at Sephora. So before you totally freak out on me, let me just say that I am in no way saying that you should cut Sephora out of your life completely. I love Sephora, I love the brands they have there, their employees have been so so helpful to me, so I'm not saying at all that you should just cold turkey stop shopping there because I could never do it. I don't think you could ever do it. I'm not asking you to do that. <laughs> but what I am saying is that you should broaden your horizons beyond just Sephora. So just hear me out on this one. So I'm going to start this with a little bit of a story. I was at the mall the other day and I was with my mom shopping for the very famous on YouTube Estee Lauder Devil Wear Foundation. And we decided to go to the Estee Lauder counter in our department store. So we found some foundations that we liked. She ended up getting the Devil Wear. I liked this one more called the Invisible Fluid Makeup. But either way, we both had foundations that we wanted to buy. So when we were buying this foundation, we were told by the saleswoman that there was a promotion about to start where you could get a big tote bag full of samples just for buying $35 or more of face products or something like that. So we, of course, wanted in, and we were able to do this thing where we could pre-order the foundation, pay for it then, and they would ship it along with a tote bag full of goodies to our house free of charge. So this is something that you're not going to get in Sephora. When you go to Sephora, you're going to pay the full price for the product, and not only that, you aren't really going to get many extras with it. I mean... Maybe you'll get a little sample of something, maybe you've saved up enough points to get a little bonus item, but it is nothing compared to the extras you can get if you shop at department stores. And I know it's kind of weird because our generation, or at least my generation, is not so familiar with department store cosmetic counters. I feel like there's this stereotype that it's for like old ladies and old people, but that's just not true. Um, it was a really great experience for me. The saleswoman was so nice and I got this huge bag of products. So without further ado, let me just show you what I got from Estee Lauder. This is the tote bag that they sent me. I mean, adorable. It's pretty nice fabric and I'm sure I can use it for a beach bag or something like that. So that in itself is kind of amazing. Then, of course, I got the foundation that I bought, which is the Invisible Fluid Makeup. I really recommend it. I, I think I'm going to do a review on it later, but I got that. Then I got the lipstick that I'm wearing today, which is this gorgeous orange color. It's something that I would probably never buy for myself, but I really ended up loving it. And then I also got this other Movi Sheen lipstick. It's amazing, and I'll list all of the names of these below in case you want to check them out. I am loving Estee Lauder lipsticks. Like, these two make me never want to buy a drugstore lipstick again. They're so creamy. They're amazing. But that's a topic for another video. And then I got a little Estee Lauder uh, wide tooth comb. Really cute. I mean, I'm not complaining. I needed one, so that's awesome. And then I got a little mascara. Don't like this one as much, but it was free, so hello. I'm not complaining either. And then finally I got one ounce of this Perfectly Clean cleanser and half an ounce of their Daywear moisturizer. So for being such a high-end brand, getting all these free samples, especially deluxe samples like these, is awesome. And like I said, you're not getting this kind of stuff at Sephora when you make a purchase. So my advice to you is next time the amazing people at Sephora are helping you and they match you or they suggest a product from brands like Clinique, Estee Lauder, Lancome, Laura Mercier, or any other ones that are at your department stores, hold off on buying that at Sephora. Check it out at the other department store counters and see if they have anything extra to throw in for your purchase. So that was my tip for today. I hope you guys found it helpful and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.